PAX is a celebration of gaming, culture, gamers, and game development. One of its basic ideas is that even though it sort of looks on the surface like everyone is playing their own games independently, separate, in pockets around the world, those shared experiences result in a single culture. Outside of the United States, uh, Melbourne is the home of PAX. Well, it's an amazing venue and... The Jeff Shed. I can tell you that when we were looking to expand the shows, like from an operational standpoint, and this was a great venue, the dates lined up perfectly, we have a great support team down here that helps us work with it, and quite frankly, it was a very short list, but this is just an audience that right away was like super thirsty for the content, that was super happy that we were here, and it's just totally reciprocated, like 100%. No, and love that, and that the audience here. And that hasn't, that hasn't changed at all. No. In fact, the conversation I have most often down here, there's two conversations. One is, thank you for bringing it to Melbourne. And two, don't take it to Sydney. <laughs> These are the conversations that I have most often here. So whatever you do, do not take this show to Sydney. <laughs> Leave it in this town. A lot of the stuff that I'm looking at out on that floor is actually Australian. It's Australian developers. It's Australian oh, yeah. content. It is from here or from Australia in general. Like That's the lion's share of what you see on that indie section of the floor. Yeah, I was going to say, there are a ton of really great Australian indie devs, and especially in Melbourne, there's a ton of them. Victoria does a great job of supporting the indie devs and all that stuff. We meet with them all the time. And they're this really the, the family appeal aspect of the show and the family outreach aspect of the show, there's no ceiling on that. It isn't about nerds and non-nerds because these parents are absolutely nerds. If you dress your child as Pikachu yeah. from Pokemon, we have to say that you are in the nerd continuum, right? So it isn't about that. It's the fact that this art form is, isn't siloed in any specific group. This art form is a human art form and it reaches very, very wide. And parents are in that group also. But what we used to call nerd culture is actually just culture. This is human culture now. I'm obviously biased, but I've, I've attended countless conventions oh, and absolutely. I've worked and built comic shows and other shows and other types of shows. And I will say, PAX fans are by far the most friendliest. Like, they are super friendly. And then, to go a notch above that, the Australian PAX fans oh, are even friendlier than normal. It's no, crazy. No, no. Friendly in a way that it's like, to our sensibility, yeah, we, like, we can't even believe that it's real. Yeah. We, we, our assumption as people from America yeah. is that people are constantly taking the piss. But they're not. Yeah. I'm like, you're not really being, this is like some sort of like sarcastic joke. You're not actually this happy. Yeah, you're, you're waiting, you're waiting for the yeah. other shoe to drop. Yeah, and it doesn't. Or this is just some long con and in like year five, <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. gonna get it. But yeah, then we're gonna see So it. far, so good. I love Melbourne. This is a great town. This is, it's got a very Seattle vibe, I always say. Yeah, it's similar, like, similar to Boston, these, these, the coastal towns. Yeah, it's got like, there's a lot of like cool architecture and cool culture. Good coffee scene here, mm -hmm. and there's just a cool, funky counterculture vibe that's really well, that of, really fits. It's like a, it's almost like a ley line thing, right? There is a, there is some. Right. Melbourne is at some mystical conjunction of culture and place that just makes it world class town. Yeah. 